welcome to my class. In today's class, we'll be talking about the topic biosphere. I'll be running through this outline. Definition of biosphere, component of biosphere, which is actually the atmosphere, the hydrosphere, and the lithosphere. What is biosphere? Biosphere is the region of the earth that can sustain life or where life is found. It is actually the largest ecosystem and comprises of all life on planet earth. It's a global ecosystem made up of living things, which is actually the biotic component and non-living things or factor, which is actually the abiotic component, from which the living components derive nutrients and energy. Note that the biosphere is actually a minor or a little part of the atmosphere, the hydrosphere and lithosphere that actually sustain life. The remaining part of the atmosphere hydrosphere and lithosphere where living organisms are not actually found because of the environmental condition is not part of the biosphere. Let's talk about the components of the biosphere. Number one, atmosphere. The atmosphere is the part of the biosphere that lies between the earth, the ground you know, and the outer space. It is composed of the air around us. The air is composed of about 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, 0.9% argon, 0.03% carbon dioxide, and other gases. Take note that the atmosphere is divided into layers. We have the lower atmosphere called the troposphere, we have the stratosphere, we have the mesosphere, we have the thermosphere, and we have the exosphere. These layers will be discussed one after the other. Let's start with the lower atmosphere called the troposphere. Troposphere extends from Earth's surface to between 15 and 20 kilometers above the ground, as shown in the diagram. The majority of the mass of the atmosphere between 75 and 80 percent is contained in the troposphere or the lower atmosphere. This is as a result of numerous particles such as dust, ash particles, as well as water vapor present in the troposphere. Temperature in the troposphere decreases with altitude. Now, let me tell you why the temperature in the troposphere decreases with altitude. Though the solar energy or the light from the sun gets to the troposphere from top to bottom, the troposphere is mainly heated from the bottom. This is as a result of the fact that solar energy that hits the ground, are eventually some of them are actually absorbed, hitting the troposphere from the bottom why others are trapped by gases in the troposphere. Now, based on the fact that the troposphere is heated from the bottom, as you move up the altitude, the temperature eventually decreases. The upper boundary of the troposphere is called the tropopause. Let's talk about the next layer called the stratosphere. The stratosphere reaches from the top of the troposphere called the tropopause to an altitude of around 50 km high above the surface of the ground. Temperature in the stratosphere actually increases with altitude unlike the troposphere. And it should be noted that the ozone layer is found in the stratosphere. The upper boundary of the stratosphere is called the stratopause. The third layer of the atmosphere is called the mesosphere which stretches from the top of the stratosphere called the stratopause to about 85 km above the surface of the earth. Mesosphere houses the coldest region of the atmosphere and temperature actually decreases with altitude in the mesosphere. Compared to the thermosphere and the exosphere, the mesosphere is relatively thin but static enough so that material will burn up as it passes through the mesosphere creating what we see as the shooting stars. The upper boundary of the mesosphere is called the mesopause, and the next layer is actually the thermosphere. The thermosphere is located above the mesopause, which is the upper boundary of the mesosphere, and reaches about 600 km. Temperature increases with altitude in the thermosphere, and solar radiation makes the upper region of the thermosphere very hot, reaching about 2,000 degrees Celsius. The last layer is the hesosphere, which is the uppermost layer that actually blends with the outer space. 
the pull of gravity is so small here that particles actually escape into the outer space. The second part of the biosphere is the hydrosphere. The hydrosphere is actually the total quantity of water on planet Earth. It comprises of the water on the ground, water on the surface of the Earth, as well as water vapor in the atmosphere or in the air. Approximately 71% of this Earth's surface is covered with water. We are aware that the oceans, the sea, and a lot of other water bodies actually occupy large surface, last portion of the surface of planet Earth. Water in the hydrosphere exists in solid state, vapor or liquid state. Various aquatic ecosystems will be discussed in our subsequent video. Let's talk about the last part of or the last component of the biosphere, the lithosphere. The lithosphere is the solid outer part of the Earth. As you can see from the diagram, the lithosphere comprises of the Earth crust and the upper region of the mantle. From the diagram, the structure of the Earth includes the inner core, the outer core, the mantle which is large, as well as the Earth crust. Now, only the Earth crust and the upper region of the mantle actually make up the lithosphere. This is the end of the lecture. Please subscribe to support this channel. Thanks for watching.